guys welcome back to my channel sorry for the hair mess i am just trying to curl my hair without straightener or curler i have uh, i have posted a video on this too so today we are going to make dal dalgona coffee as you all know it was really famous in the first lockdown so i am going to tell you guys how to make dalgona coffee without a beater if you don't have, have that guys so let's start first coffee i'll give you a nice life hack put coffee in the freezer and it will not become like hard it will stay fresh i'm using this cafe's classic coffee we'll put little bit it depends on how strong you want the coffee I like my coffee like a medium taste because I don't like it too bitter or too sweet. So I have added, I have had added this much coffee. It would be like one spoon, one normal spoon. Then we'll add sugar. I usually add three spoons. Because it gives me a perfect texture and taste. This is three spoon. This spoon I use three times. Okay, then we'll mix it a bit. If you want, you can add more coffee or sugar later on also. The thing when you do it with like this method, the uh, sugar does not get dissolved. But when you put it in milk, it gets dissolved when you eat it like, like this. So it will like have sugar bites in it. So it kind of should look like that. Then we'll add a little bit of coffee. Really little bit. It's like one dash. That's all. And we are going to rest. Bring the rest of the water. Now we'll start mixing it. It should look something like this. Now we'll start mixing it. This was a lifesaver for me because in the first lockdown we didn't have any beetles. So I used to use this like I'm in first lockdown. I used to drink a lot of coffee. I'm really a coffee lover. And I can then copy at any time. You just you can rest for your hand, but you just need to beat it fast. See it gets little smoothy type. You only have to stop when the color gets a little faint. It will be like like the brown. So I'll get back to you guys when this is all done. It is fluffed out because it takes a lot of time, but it will be worth it. Bye for now. So guys, it's starting to fluff out. As you can see, we'll fluff it out till like it gets like whipped cream texture when you beat it. If it, is, it isn't that fluffed out, it's okay because in the last year I'm going to mix it and it will taste amazing. Anyhow. And always use a fork because it is really good. Don't use spoon, it will not work. You can use a whisker but I have not tried that till now because this that works every time so I didn't need to. We are going to make cold coffee. It tastes like frappuccino but on right now I don't have any 
chocolate syrup or caramel syrup so i just be putting cold milk in my special kevinto's bottle we're gonna pour coffee and we are gonna put it in the freezer for five minutes to make it more cold i don't have ice cubes i just started i just did this video in a sudden so i don't have ice cubes ready with me so we'll work that way so guys i need to end up off it fluffs i'm back sorry for the background change i had to come in the kitchen because the milk was in the kitchen so now we have this nice texture the color changed a lot so now we want to put cold milk you can make it hot also hot also makes uh tastes good but i prefer cold so we pour the milk oh my god i spilled it everywhere i'm spilling it everywhere okay. this much milk it's it depends on you how much milk you want i actually spilled a lot of milk around here so i'll come back after cleaning this bye so i have a tiny spoon here which fits in this big spoons don't fit now we'll start putting a coffee mixture in We'll put this aside and make sure. As I told you, there are uh, sugar blocks in it, but don't worry. When you mix all the mixture, there won't be any. You need to try this, guys. It tastes really amazing. Why am I making a mess, so much mess today? Did I have it on my hair? No. It's okay if you have a bit, little too much coffee taste bitter, but when you mix it with milk, it will taste good. So rest of the mixture, I'm gonna eat it. The remaining in the glass, we'll put a little bit. Okay, that's it. That much milk. We'll take this. We'll mix. Bounce, bounce. I love to eat it like this. I don't know how to mix this. Okay, we'll pour this. Then we we'll wash our glass. Now, for the best part, we'll close the lid and shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See the color changes instantly. Instantly. 
shake, 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 shake. So we have a coffee bit of it now. I'm just gonna taste it and tell you how it tastes because it's like 4.30 and I don't want to drink this coffee right really early. So we'll taste. It tastes good but I just think it should have had more coffee in it. But overall it tastes amazing just like Frappuccino. If you want to make cafe, uh, cappuccino, you have to uh, take hot milk. But if you want to make cappuccino, you can have to take cool milk. So for little time, we are going to put it this in fridge. So it will get more cold. So this was it for this video. Hope you like it. And hope it's useful. Bye bye. And just uh, try it and tell me in the comments how it tastes. Bye-bye.